my channel or if you are new to this channel welcome my name is Mary I am being assisted by the one the only the birthday boy Capitan I don't know if you guys can see his adorable little bandana we actually had this one a few years ago but wore it last year it's a little snug this year but it still fits it still fits um, it's actually not his real birthday today. It's in a couple days on Friday and we are going to have a birthday vlog for you guys. It's going to be a very fun one and we want you to be invited. We want you to show up. So stay tuned on Friday. We are going to have a very cool birthday vlog for my boy who is going to be turning five. I really don't even want to about it so basically today's video so basically today's video is just gonna be me talking about how much i love this dog <laughs> no but also like giving you a blast from the past of when he was a puppy because i have so many adorable puppy photos and basically just want to talk about how much i love him but before oh yeah i forgot we got Ruka. But before we get into all that, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, follow us on all socials. They will be linked down. They will be linked down below. I uh, didn't realize a lot of them weren't working for the longest time, so go check it out because I revamped it. It's in the description box. Go check it out. So, like I was saying, I saw this photo of him today, and it was the most adorable puppy photo of him. I almost wanted to cry because then I took a photo of him with his bandana on and he just, you know, it's not, it's, he's not a puppy anymore. He's not even like a teenager. He feels like he is like eight. Now he's five, so he's fully grown out. He's definitely calmed down a lot. He's changed. I could get very emotional because like I said, I don't want him to grow old. I want him to be with me forever, which he is. I'm not even gonna manifest anything negative, so we're not even gonna go down that road. But this dog has really changed a lot for my life, my husband's life, my parents' life. They absolutely adore him. Unfortunately, I didn't start my channel until he was like, I believe, two years old. And I actually think that's my second video I ever did, which was probably terrible, but probably fun to go back and watch. I actually baked him a cake, which I'm not going to do this year, but he's going to get something else. So you'll wait and see till then. I do have so many um, videos of him as a puppy and pictures. So I do want to share that with you guys. 100% I think he has chilled out. I mean, he's always been a really good dog, but since he's been four, he's definitely like chilled out. He basically just wants to guard the front door. Sometimes he'll play with Ruka, not really. He could care less about her. And mainly just wanna be around his family. He's a great travel dog. We are planning on going to Las Vegas. Capitan, I don't know if you guys can't see him. He's like, I keep backing up the camera so you can see him because this is video is all about him. Um, don't worry, I'm gonna have some footage of him later. Come here, can you say hi? You know what, I got some cookies right here. Look how handsome my boy is. Like, look how thick he is. Can you say hi to the camera? Come on, here he is, the sweetest little mouth. Here you go, Rika. But in a couple weeks, we are gonna go back to Las Vegas where he's gonna go swimming and we're gonna have another birthday party there. I have a vlog of actually his birthday party in Vegas and he got like a whole steak. So I'll probably link that one up for you guys as well. But this dog has really been such, such a great, <laughs> such a great thing for me. Um, time it means so much to me. I mean, obviously I love Ruka, but me and him have just connected in such a amazing way. 
I always love to like film and take photos with my animals and I got a dog that really likes to film with me like it's Ruka, she's kind of awkward she's not like the best like one to film and she doesn't do anything like Cappy is his own person his own character I swear he understands English sometimes um, when I put the camera out he just takes the best photo so it was just it's just really cool this connection I have with him his own little he's like he's the main character he has a main character energy all day he just loves to be in the camera loves to take photos I'm just extremely blessed to have the opportunity to also be able to have such an amazing dog like him and then be able to share it with you guys and really be an advocate for this breed because a lot of times they go to like hard people or like not hard people but people that like just want a dog to be guard like what's the word what's the way to say it most i know not all the time now people have definitely you know changed but back in the day i feel like these dogs were just known to be thrown to in the backyard and watch the house but there's so much more than that he is the sweetest cuddliest dog ever. I was actually at a farmer's market this weekend and I ran into some Rottweiler breeders which I was super stoked. They had a beautiful uh, male and they're local around here but they also had a male puppy with them and oh I about died and you know I always get asked why I don't have more Rottweilers and you know I always tell you like money but also um He's just so easygoing when it comes to, not easygoing, it's very easy for me to travel right now because he is so easygoing and loves my parents. So my parents don't have any problems watching him because he's not a hassle, he doesn't get into anything, they literally could just leave him in the house and he's fine. Um, but adding another, I mean I did add another dog to the mix her, which she would, my parents agreed that if I got a Boston, they would be okay with watching two of my dogs. Now, if I got another Rottweiler, um, yeah, my, I don't, I just don't even think that would be fair for my parents to, like, ask them watch two dogs. So, that's my main reason why I don't have another Rottweiler is because I am not ready to give up traveling yet. Uh, maybe in a couple years, I will be able to give up my traveling and, uh, stay home for longer than every other month <laughs> and I'll have more Rottweilers. That's always the plan to have like a farmer Rottweilers just because he has been so amazing. I mean, he's one of a kind. I love him to death. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. Like I said, I just basically wanted to spill my heart out about how much I love this breed, especially my Capitan. I'm sure a lot of you, the reason why you watch my channel is because you can relate. You have a Rottweiler that's literally amazing and your best friend and you want to be an advocate for them and believe in them. You know, some people think I make it seem easy, but I did put work into him, but I feel like everybody could have a Rottweiler like Cap. He's the best. He's the sweetest. I don't think I did anything other than just love him and disciplined him when he needed to. I am going to end it with a montage of Capitan. So enjoy all these amazing moments, photos of my boy as a baby. Like I said, I can't believe he's turning five on us. Comment down below if you are here from the beginning and remember him like on my reptile Instagram account because, uh, geez Louise. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here with me talking and go on to the montage. But like I said, do not forget, Friday, party time, Capitan's actual birthday. Stay tuned for the birthday vlog. It will be out. And um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Happy is not wanting to be on the camera right now so send them happy birthdays on his instagram at capitan underscore verdugo all right let's move on with the montage i'll see you guys soon bye